Hey guys, and welcome back to Ark Ragnarok Evolved. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> As the last time, we got these bundles of super cuteness, and we got this one. This one right here, you little baby. The little baby. With the, with the, with the, with the mutation. That mint green thing going on, which is very cool. Um, so I think today what we're going to do. We're going to breed these two together. This is the dad. This is the baby with the mutation. We're going to breed them together, see what we get. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I think we're going to build an otter habitat over here somewhere. I'm thinking over to the left of that. Yeah. Partially in the water, partially not. I think that'd be kind of cool. Just have like a, you know, a little, little area here where we could put the otters, put them on wandering and just kind of let them chill. Um, you know, they could swim in the water. They could do all, you know, all, all the good stuff, all the good stuff that otters do in their, in their, in their uber cuteness and whatnot. <laughs> uh, so that is, uh, that is the plan. I have, I have no idea how we're going to build it. Uh, we do need to fence it off and then put a roof over it. Unfortunately, um, or we can, you know, we can make more turrets. Um, and apparently, like, this is one thing I've never understood about Structures Plus. Um, you build the Structures Plus fabricator, but everything you make in the fabricator is vanilla. And then uh, to make, you know, the, the Structures Plus equivalent, you actually make it down here. That's I've never understood that. I don't know why it's that way. <laughs> you know? Like if you, if, you know, if you build the structures plus smithy, the stuff, you know, the structures you build in here. Oh, wait, no, those are okay. Yeah, never mind. I'm just, I don't know. I've just, yeah, everything is it just, yeah. And so, you know, I, without thinking, I, I built the turrets in here instead of, you know, down in the workstation and it was a vanilla turrets and yeah. So there you go. Um, so we may build some structures or some S plus turrets. And use those to protect the little baby or the you know the widow otters this guy is kind of just hanging out in the wall and that one's kind of in the floor yeah i think i think i'm gonna turn that off actually tell them to stop making the babies because we got a lot of eggs yeah um <laughs> so okay 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 anyway um i do want to remind you guys to go ahead and butt punch that like button Let's make this world a better place, one butt punch at a time, and as always, not just on my videos. Like everybody's video. If you watch the video, click a like button. <laughs> it's it's super, super simple. Super, super simple. Just just do the things, you know? Just 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 do them. Oh no, you come you come back over here. Come on. There you are. You just don't keep the way you run. Okay. So we need to watch that one. Alright. So I'm going to get these two uh, making the babies, and I'll be back. Oh, baby, 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 <laughs> baby, stop it, baby. Wow, they can carry a lot of meat. Well, I mean, it is only two pounds. Okay, eh, whatever. Look at it, little baby. Okay, so it doesn't look like it got any more mutations, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it was just the, the one mutation passed down from the mom, I guess, which is her. Yeah. Or, I think? I think that's how it works. I'm not really... Yeah, I don't... I don't yeah, it's just the one mutation, which is the green. So, you know, that's a thing. All right. Give it a little more food. I went ahead and bred this one as well because I figured why not? I mean, it's not going to, you know, hurt anything. All right. Disable wandering. Stay there. There's the widow green, baby. Look at the widow, baby. It's so cute when they eat. Oh, hold on. We got to hurt. And then. Oh, look at it. Oh, you do. Sorry. That's super cute. All right. So this one, I see you looking at me. Quit looking at me like that. What you want? What? 
<laughs> just staring straight at me. Hey, you looking too? Yeah, you ain't looking now. All right. So this one's still got a good two minutes on it. I'm going to wait for this one. I will check out the baby. I will put some food in its pocket. And then it, it doesn't take long for these things to hit juvenile. So then they'll start eating out of the troughs. Uh, I went ahead and pre-planned, obviously, and got a bunch of fish meat. So it's all up in there. It's kind of weird that these guys, it, or that it, it at least seems like they only eat fish. But... I mean, because that's, I mean, that's, that's odd, right? Like carnivores will eat like all meat, but these guys only eat fish. Or at least that's, again, what it seems like. I don't know. Oh, another baby. Another baby. Another baby. Hello, baby. All right. There we go. Let's check. Nothing there. Eh, all right. So no mutations, but we got a couple babies. And we're going to have some otters for our otter habitat. Right? You, come with me. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see what it came up over there? That was interesting. All right, come on. There's one. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's just so freaking tiny, man. Jeez. Oh, look at you. You're like all in the ground. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. I have some food. All right. So I guess these things are just going to grow up um, at some point. Uh, probably by the end of the video. Well, maybe. <laughs> it depends on how long it takes to to build the, the habitat, I guess. But there we go. Oh, oh, wait. No, they do have a... Yeah, they have an imprint timer. Okay. All right. I was like, wait a minute. They don't have an imprint. Yeah, they do. Uh, wait, what? No. Wait, wait. Oh. I was like, why can't I pick you up? It's because I had that one. This is the big one. Um, let's see. Oh, you need some health, guy. There you go. Wow. Uh, you're pretty bloody. I'm just saying. All right. So they're over there growing up, doing their thing. Um, and... We're over here. Uh, we're going to take a look at possibly building some kind of habitat. Uh, I, I Again, I, I have no clue how this is going to turn out. If it's even going to turn out. <laughs> but we're going to try. Um, I'm thinking I do want a door going into it over here. I think this would be the best place to kind of put a door. And so I think we're going to have like some kind of ramp coming down. Um, I Obviously, like I don't want stuff like perfectly squared you know like I want you know I think the best way to do this is K camera so no I don't want I don't want it to snap dang it I don't want it to snap Wait, does G do anything? No, not with foundations. No, stop. Okay, no, stop. No, stop. No, stop. No. Uh, I don't want to freaking snapping. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so if we do one right there. No, that doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, so this is going to have to be a bit bigger than I thought. So let's do one about there. Another one. No, oh, come. Oh, come. No. I wish I could completely disable snapping. Like, completely. <laughs> like, completely. And actually, you know what? If, if we do something like this... We use that one. That way it's closer to the water, you know? Yeah, I think that would be a better idea. Um, Should we maybe come off that one? I mean, we could do something like that. And then put like a ramp in front of that one and a ramp in front of that one and then have one house there and one house there. Now, another thing I, I kind of want to try 
Uh, do we have? Yes, we do. All right. So if we do something... Let's see. Can we get it lined up with that? So I want to try doing... Let's see. All right, like that. And then if we can get that, get another one to snap there. Now, if we get one of these windows, what I'm thinking is trying to make a like a tiny little door. And I'm thinking this might be able to do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. That is freaking perfect, man. Are you serious? All right, can I pick this up? Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is a little tiny door. Oh, that's so good. I didn't actually think that was going to like work out very well, but it did. Because why not? I mean, really? Like, do you have to ask? <laughs> all right, let's get rid of all this. That's so much weight. Okay, uh, so yeah, we're gonna do uh, the walls. And it just seemed fitting to, to use Adobe. It, you know, it's like clay, muddy stuff. Um, and so that's what we're gonna use. We're, gonna, we're using stone foundations just in case something does attack or whatever. Um, Oh no. Uh yeah, see this is this is the issue. I have to snap it to that one. Like that one works. I don't know where that's snapping. Oh man. All right, so if we get rid of this, how how messed up is this gonna make it? We do that, and then that. So that's a that's a perfect square. And then this, like I say, this will be like the little house. We do that, something like that. And then if we try to put a foundation back in there. So if we do that, and then that. Wait, why? Why are... Yeah, I see, that's something I didn't think about. But I think that's okay. But look at that. That is so freaking perfect, man. <laughs> like, that is so perfect. Oh, my God. That's so great. Okay. Uh, wood seal. Should we do like a slopey? A slopey slope? Let's try just like a regular wood ceiling on it and see see what do. Ah, oh, man, that is so freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, perfect. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so good. I am so happy with that. Oh my god. Okay, so we just got to do a few more of those. <laughs> ah. Um and anyway, 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 anyway. All right, so let's get rid of all this. And then what we're going to do uh just so it looks like they're they're kind of looks like they're they're free to roam around uh, is we're going to do stone foundations going around uh their little area here. So if we come like this, like that. Okay, yeah, that's straight. Like something like this, and then we'll just we'll outline the whole thing, and then I mean I we don't really so this isn't something we really have to do, um, but I want to put glass around just so it looks like it's completely open, um, but it's actually not. 
because we don't want stuff again you know like the, the ichthyornis you know those stupid things they really ruin a lot of a lot of stuff um they're just such jerks i mean that's really all you can say about that so what i'm thinking is if we do something like this and then we grab these glass walls and put those on top right but we make them invisible. You'll never know they're there. And then it'll just look like it's completely open, right? I feel like that that is a pretty good plan. And then, you know, they're going to have... I mean, it seems like they should have maybe a bit more land. But, I mean, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, so uh, we've got a couple houses here. I think they're pretty spiffy. Um, they're, they're like, I mean, they're different. They're kind of different sizes, but that, I mean, that's because of the floor. So, I mean, I'm kind of thinking I should have run them all off this one using uh, these. Because I think I could have done them better. Because you see that sits at the same height. So maybe that would have, you know, that would have been better. Um, it's hard to say, honestly. <laughs> it's it, it's very hard to say uh, if that would have been better or not. Uh, but with these, we can uh, have the rails going all the way around and still have it, you know, like completely even so that it doesn't look all silly. Uh, because that was one of the things I was worried about was like the, the unevenness of the rail going around. And I really didn't want that. So doing it this way, I think, is just... Is there a wall? Oh, there's one. And is that it? Yeah. Okay. I think. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this way we can have, you know, perfectly even rail uh, going all the way around just so it, you know, it looks better, works better. Um, and then we're still going to, we're still going to enclose the entire thing in glass because it just seems like a better way to do it. Just that way, you know, they're in here and, and it'll look like it's, you know, completely, uh, you know, completely open to the sky. Uh, but it won't be, which is good because, like I said, Ichthyornis are freaking jerks. Uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, these really don't like snapping. Uh, just, you know, right. You got to, like, cycle through all the snap points. And some, wait, is that gonna, you know, straight 45, 90. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> ah, straight. Ah, see, yeah, see, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, much easier. <laughs> Dang it. I was just sitting here st cycling through all the freaking snaps dang it oh the god that is so much easier wow all right I, uh, I i would be lying if i said i didn't feel like a little bit of an idiot <laughs> crap <sighs> i don't know Whatever. Uh, so yeah, let me let me get some more of this done uh, up in here. I may switch this one out to a half wall. I think maybe that might look better. But then again, I mean, we would want the water to you know flow in and out or whatever. Uh, so we'll see. Turrets doing work. <laughs> uh, so. A uh, slight issue I, I didn't realize was happening is we've got this thing going around on the inside, which is probably eventually going to cause issues over here, but whatever. It's fine. Um, But, yeah. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of thinking about sticking, like, a little plat, you know, maybe look a, a little platform over here in the corner. I wish it was more decorative stuff in Ark. You know? Have you ever noticed that? There's like a severe lack of decorative, you know, just like pure decorative stuff. 
uh, kind of like um, if you're familiar with uh, Echoes mods. Yeah, or Eco. Eco? Is it Eco or Echo? I knew it one time and I forgot. Um, but yeah, the main the main thing about this is that this entire cage, as it were, uh, is completely gone. And so they're completely safe in here. Uh, nothing will, nothing should be able to even aggro them. And they can just kind of roam around in here, just chill out, be otters and do otter things. Um, which, is, you know, that's good. Uh, and then with this, I went ahead and brought, you know, just a little ramp down and around. I figured that kind of made sense. Because I was going to just have like a ramp coming out the door just straight down. But I was like, eh, that doesn't make any sense. This one I went ahead and switched uh, with the side because it was over here. But it seemed kind of just close to this. So I just did that. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking about putting just like a some foundation-y type stuff over here. Maybe some thatch foundation or some wood foundation. Maybe, maybe over here in the corner or something. I wish it was something that looked kind of like dirt. Although Adobe, oh, I wonder how an Adobe foundation, do we have any Adobe foundations? How do we not have Adobe foundations? Cause if we, if, if Adobe foundations look like dirt, how many can we, oh. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna need more clay. Let's go ahead and make that. Do we have any down here like already made? What is that? Oh, this is an Adobe trapdoor. All right, let's grab that. We'll just see how it looks. Uh, if it looks decent, obviously we'll have to make more uh, more clay, which means we gotta go get more uh, oh, more cactus. But I mean, that's that's not an issue. I'm also thinking about making part of this like at least this part here. Uh, glass just so you can you know you can see out and see what's going on all right so how it does I mean obviously we don't want it up that high but I mean that's that's not bad I'm kind of actually thinking wood might work better I wish it was a way we could snap it to this you know Or, like, I mean, we could come over here. Like, I, it's something, like, I just, I want it just out of the water. Just a little place for the otters to kind of chill. You know, just hang out. Just be all otters. I think, I think something like that would work. And then, you know, they could just get up here and just kind of hang out. I mean, I don't know how much... Uh, roaming they're actually gonna do uh, I know that when I was when I was breeding them and then waiting for them to mature or you know waiting for them to spit out the babies um, I didn't have to press you <laughs> like at all uh, because they didn't wander at all so I don't know if it's if they require water to wander or what oh hey they're grown up oh nice very cool very very cool okay very good okay do I still have oh I do okay still have the one on my shoulder so, I think we're going to get some... Don't look at me. You're the one sticking out of the wall. Don't look at me like that. That's not my fault. Get your freaking body out of the wall, you jerk. All right. Uh, wood. Foundationes. I guess we don't have any. Um, God, what am I doing? Okay, wood. Wood foundationes. Let's do five. Yeah. I wish it was, I mean, maybe thatch would even be better. Hmm. It's hard. It's hard to say, man. Like, again, there's such a, like a, a lack of decorative stuff. <laughs> like a serious lack. That's. That's why eco mods. I mean, not that eco mods. I mean, eco mods are done very, very well. But the reason they're so popular is because they add something that is absolutely missing from Ark, and that is decorative. There is nothing decorative. I mean, there's like wall torches and stuff, but that. I mean, that's not really whatever. All right, so that that looks all right. 
So if we did just like a little thing over here in the corner, they can, you know, kind of get up here, just chill. Um, I would kind of like to... Put some ramps. Just so they can, you know, it's, it's just easier to get up. And, I, I don't know, again, I, I really don't know how much they're going to actually wander. What if we did a ramp there? And a ramp there. And then it's just like a little thing. They can get up here and kind of chill out and be otters. All right, so I kind of feel like... Okay. Oh my god, he went in the house! <laughs> he went in the house! Oh my god! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, that is freaking awesome! Oh, that is so good! Oh, now he's just chilling. Oh, that is so... okay. Um, I think we need to let's let's enable wandering. Is he just gonna is he gonna like wander up on the thing and then just sit there? See that's that that's what I was afraid of. That's unfortunate. I really hope he doesn't just sit there. Yeah, that's what I want. I want them to, you know, cruise around and be otters. And not just, like, endlessly run into a railing. Arc AI for the win. <laughs> oh my god. He's just gonna sit there and continuously just try to run into the freaking wall. And he's just gonna go straight over there. Oh, oh, what's he doing? What are you, what are you doing, man? No, don't look at me. You just, you do you. Pretend I'm not even here. And see, I'm worried that once they get on dry land, they just never move again. That's, that's what I'm worried about. Because it looks like that's what happens. Is they just, they get on dry land and never move. That is unfortunate. That's shooting something. Yeah, looks like that's what happens. Son of a... Oh well. I mean, it's it's still it'll still work. I mean, it it's just a it's just a it's it's not really meant. I mean, you can't make these things functional. Like you can't make them use you know the house. Like you could probably toss one in there. You know, but. Which, I mean, I might do. Just, like, stick one in, you know, like, this house and just have it kind of sit in there. Uh, ceiling. Pick up wood ceiling. Pick up wood. Pick up a W. Okay. So if we do something like that. And then something like... Son of a... <laughs> Aha! And then ceiling! Then it looks like uh, he's just kind of chilling in his house. Yeah! That's nice! Alright, so I think I'm going to get the other ones over here. And yeah, that's going to do it for today. I think it'll, I mean, it still serves its purpose. It kind of, you know, it's an, it's an otter habitat. They just kind of chill. It just, it's unfortunate that as soon as they get on dry land, they just stop moving. I'm hoping that's just uh, a bug and it won't actually continue to happen, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode and I will see you all next time.